Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Deer Outdoors guys. Today we are going to be talking about crossbow safeties and the correct position that your safety should be in for cocking your crossbow. So stay tuned. If this is your first time joining us on Dragon Deer Outdoors, welcome. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below for me. Also hit that bell so you get notifications on all of our hunting, shooting, and outdoor videos. All right, let's get into crossbow safeties. Now we're gonna start this video by watching someone else's video. This is a video that was posted on Facebook. My intentions are not to bash this individual and yours should be the same. No negative comments, okay? We are gonna use the video he put on Facebook as a learning experience. All right, guys, let's check out this video that I found. Watch closely. I'll kind of narrate what this individual is doing and see if you can pick up where he went wrong, okay? So I'm gonna push play here. We got the rope cocker going on the crossbow. Gets his hooks on the string. Starts to pull back. Decides to flip the, the safety to the safe position. When he gets it up to the top, the string is not engaging back there in the trigger box assembly. Thinks it's engaged, and it wasn't, and he got a dry fire, partial dry fire. Did you catch what he did wrong? If you did, post a comment down below. And if you don't know what he did wrong, watch again and watch closely. Gets his hooks on the string, starts to pull back, decides to flip the, the safety to the safe position. If you commented down below and said what he did wrong was he moved his safety from the fire position to the safe position, you are correct. We do not want to cock our crossbow in the safe position. Most crossbows, I'm not gonna say all because all would be incorrect, but most crossbows, because they use very similar safety and trigger box assemblies and mechanisms, they are intended to be cocked with the safety in the fire position. Now, some crossbows, you guys, especially unique um, safety and trigger box mechanisms to specific manufacturers. Some, it might not matter. You might be able to cock it either in the safe position or the fire position. Some might not even let you move the safety to the safe position before the crossbow is cocked. My SWAT X1, it does not even let me do that. It stays locked in the fire position until that crossbow is cocked. But the majority of crossbows, because the mechanisms are very, very similar, they are intended and need to be cocked with the safety in the fire position. The reason for that is every single crossbow today, all of them, they have anti-dry fire capabilities built in. Basically, when you cock your crossbow, it moves the safety from the fire to the safe position as it engages the string. And before you load a bolt, it is not going to let you move that safety back to the fire position and potentially allow you to dry fire your crossbow. So what happens is if you move your safety from the fire position to the safe position, before you even cock the string, before it is even back there, things are moving around in that mechanism. Picture your crossbow already thinks the string is engaged, it's engaging the anti-dry fire, and it's kind of creating a little bit of a, a locked system and a wall back there. And if you then try to draw your crossbow, there's nothing, there's nothing to move, there's nothing for the string to engage in and you're kind of just hitting a wall. That is exactly what is happening in this video. Because he moved the safety from the fire to the safe position, changed the orientation of a lot of the pieces and parts in that mechanism, he's got nothing that can move to lock his string in place. And the result of that was the cocking rope slipped out of his hand. He thought he had locked it or thought he had latched it and that didn't happen. The rope slipped out of his hand and he had a dry fire, partial dry fire situation occur. So let's say you moved your safety from the fire to the safe position before cocking your crossbow. And either you realized it before you tried cocking it or you realized it while you were trying to cock it. You're basically hitting that back wall. Your string is not engaging. Let me show you how to go ahead and reset that mechanism. Let's demo on this crossbow that I have right here. So obviously you guys can see this crossbow is uncocked. The safety is in the fire position, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move it back to the safe position. Now, what I just did, because there's no bolt in there, is I engaged the anti-dry fire mechanism, and now it will not let me move the safety back to the fire position, and as we talked about, it's not gonna let me cock this crossbow. So to reset it, we just have to put a bolt back in there to disengage that anti-dry fire mechanism. 
Now, as you slide the bolt back in there, it is gonna feel a little bit tighter than it normally feels when you load a bolt. And that's just because your bolt is riding on top of your string. Your crossbow is not cocked. You're not gonna hurt anything. Just know it's just gonna feel a little bit different going back in there. So now that there's a bolt in there and we have disengaged the anti-dry fire, we can now move our safety back to the fire position. And go ahead, on this crossbow, you don't have to do this, but on some, it's, it's good to just go ahead and pull the trigger, okay? Your crossbow's not cocked. Go ahead and pull the trigger. Make sure everything resets. Your crossbow now thinks it just fired a shot. So your safety, as well as your trigger mechanism, everything is reset, and you are now ready to cock your crossbow as it should be cocked. All right, everyone remember this was on an uncocked crossbow where we are resetting the safety and the trigger mechanism, okay? Never under any circumstance, cock your crossbow, load a bolt, move the safety to the fire position, and then take your bolt out, okay? A crossbow that is cocked with the safety in the fire position, that can dry fire. What I am demonstrating is just how to reset your safety and your trigger mechanism for an uncocked crossbow so you can properly cock it. All right, everybody, to wrap this video up, what you saw from the video, I think, is a very common way that new crossbow hunters and new crossbow shooters damage their crossbow. And I think it's very intuitive to want to always have that safety in the safe position. It, you know, I think a lot of us are used to firearms where we want that safety, and for good reason, always in the safe position until we are ready to squeeze off a shot. And with a crossbow, it's just a little bit different with the way it's designed and the way the mechanism works. Every single crossbow out there, you guys, is intended and will safely cock the crossbow and engage the string, reset the safety when the safety is in the fire position, okay? That is best practice. Cock your crossbow with the safety in the fire position. There are some crossbows out there where it doesn't matter whether it's fire or safe. There are other crossbows out there like my SWAT X1 that I showed you where it won't even let you put the safety into the safe position until the crossbow is cocked, okay? There are some different things out there, but the majority of them, it needs to be in the fire position and every single one of them, every single one of them is safe to cock and should be cocked with the safety in the fire position. You guys, I hope this video helps you out. I hope this saves a few bows out there. And please, if you did like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell for notifications. We're gonna be having a lot more videos, not only on crossbows, but on all things hunting in the outdoors coming at you soon. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.